Student A and Student B are two students that I have been focusing on in my time at Northwood Elementary School. The students come from two different types of home lives. Student A is from a life of poverty, he lives with his grandmother and does not have transportation to and from school. The lack of resources for the child is the major problem behind his literacy issues. Student B comes from a middle class family but has gone through a tragedy in the family that has caused her emotional problems throughout the last year in school. I have chosen these two students to observe because they are both students who are behind in class. The difference between the two is the reason that they are behind their peers in education. I will go into more detail in the next few paragraphs. Student A was chosen for the after school program at Northwood Elementary because of his low in standardized test scores and moving to the school later in the year. He does not have the resources nor the parental guidance at home to keep up with his peers in the classroom. He lives with their gram with his grandmother because they do not ha know who the father is and the mother is a drug addict. Transportation is also an issue with student A. He has to walk to and from school every day or take a taxi because their vehicle broke down, even in harsh winters. Student A is a sports fanatic and loves Peyton Manning. This is the way that I have reached him through literacy. I have picked out a few books for him about Brett Favre and Lou Gehrig. His reading fluency is very low in the comprehension level. Noticing the words is average, but understanding them proves to be a challenge. Student B is someone who has so much potential. She's a student that is actually above the normal third grader, but due to her emotional issues at home, she seems to be slowly falling behind and losing focus. Her parents went through a rough divorce over the summer that extended, ended in her father committing suicide. Due to this, her test scores dropped and put her in the after school program. Access to books at her house seems to be very limited and she does not seem to get much attention due to her having three other sisters, but I do know that she loves reading books. She just is not very good at comprehending them. Her reading fluency is average, but the understanding and putting the words into order seems to cause a problem. Based on these two students, I seem to have an understanding of the few main issues with literacy. One main problem is the lack of resources to the kids at home, and even when you try to get them free library cards like we did, they do not take advantage of it. Some of the problems with literacy are uncontrollable. For instance, with student B's emotional problems, you cannot control how a child feels, and when they decide to shut down, there is not much that you can do.